what the Roman poet Horace once said, quote, a picture is a poem without words. And that's especially true of the works from artist Renee Romero Schuler. Her work has spoken to people all over the world. And now she has an exhibit right here at the Miller Gallery. And to tell us more, I want to welcome the artist herself, Renee Romero Schuler. Thank you so much for joining us, Renee. My pleasure. Thank you. Well, we're glad to have you and your work here in town. And I've heard you are often inspired by wisdom from author Deepak Chopra. Is that right? Yeah, that's true. I, you know, I went to hear him speak uh, probably in my early 20s, and he said something that really strangely resonated with me a lot. And it had something to do with um, us as human beings being in rented bodies. So we're spiritual beings more than physical beings. And I thought that that was something I really related to. And when it came to my artistry, my work, I, I felt like that made perfect sense. I, I approached the figures in a very spiritual way, and I want them to have this sort of ethereal presence. Well, talk about your process a little, because you use some unique tools from what I understand. Yeah, I tend to use only palette knives or uh, spatulas and that sort of thing. I don't use brushes. And that is because I put multiple layers of paint on the canvas. So it's almost like sculpting the paint onto the surface of the, the canvases. And the reason for that is because all of that texture and mark making is, for me, very symbolic of the stuff of life. You know, life is messy and imperfect. and the palette knives lend themselves to creating that kind of, um, you know, surface tension that I like. Okay, well, Renee, you've referred to your work as therapy on canvas. Can you explain, <laughs> explain that a little bit? Yeah, well, for me, you know, painting is all I've ever done. And I came from a pretty troubled past, you know, difficult childhood and uh, carried a lot of that stuff into adulthood and painting uh, really grounded me and it helped me to process through a lot of my feelings. So, you know, even at this point in my life, I still work through a lot of stories from my past and I also work through current situations, you know, pandemics or uh, global stressors, you know, anything that impacts me as a uh, living, breathing human, I process that through my work. And that it's, it's a gift to be able to do that. And it just really helps me to get through life and get through each day. Wow, that really is a gift. And you have an opening reception happening tonight at the Miller Gallery. So tell us when it is and for how long people can see your work there. Yeah, so the opening reception is tonight from 5.30 to 7.30 and the show will be up for a month, so through October. Wonderful. Renee, thank you so much for talking to us today. I appreciate your work. I can see some legs behind you, and we've looked at some of, the, <laughs> some of your artwork during the interview, and it's wonderful, so thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely.